this short video walks you through how to use a back titration to find out the water of crystallization in the hydrated salt. The hydrated salt in this question is bath salts, sodium carbonate, and the number of moles of water that are attached to each mole of sodium carbonate crystals is to be found. So we'll call that X H2O. So water of crystallization, water that's normally attached to some ionic salts is represented by this dot here. So here's an example of something that's called a back titration. And as soon as somebody hears about a back titration, uh, they get really nervous. I'm going to show you how easy a back titration is and the steps you would use. So first thing you do is you storyboard. So you look at the question and then you put the words into pictures. So as you can see here, we've got our uh, 627 milligrams of sodium carbonate. We've converted that into our mass and that's been weighed out on a top pan balance. So the second thing is we take that and we dissolve that uh, 0.627 grams of your sodium carbonate, hydrated sodium carbonate, into 200 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid, which has a concentration of 0.25 moles per dm cubed. So then we stir the mixture to make sure it's all reacted. So we're assuming here that the HCl is in excess, and therefore what's left over of the HCl is then made up to 250 centimetres cubed in your volumetric flask. <coughs> now what we need to do then is to mix it thoroughly. So we invert it 10 times to homogenize the solution. So this is now your excess HCl, the stuff that's left over, all the sodium carbonates reacted. So we take 25 centimetres cubed of this and put it into a conical flask. And we now titrate the excess HCl against sodium hydroxide we know its concentration and we also know its volume so here we can see immediately we've got the concentration of volume we can work out the number of moles now it's really really important that you then write out a balanced equation for the first reaction so you can therefore get an idea that the ratio of hydrochloric acid to sodium carbonate is a two is a two to one ratio, so one sodium carbonate to two moles of HCl. Now, what we need to do for the next part is we need to see, this is the excess HCl, this is then reacted with sodium hydroxide. So for the excess hydrochloric acid that's left over in the reaction, it's a one to one ratio. So for every one mole of sodium hydroxide, it's one mole of HCl. And immediately you can see you know the amount of sodium hydroxide because you've got its volume, you've got its concentration, and therefore you can work out the total, uh, the moles of sodium hydroxide, which are therefore going to be equal to your acid. Now, the third step is to work out your amounts of HCl because you've got your amounts here. As soon as you, you know the total amount of HCl, so we're told the total amount of HCl is, here's the concentration, it's 0.25 moles per dm cubed, and there's the volume. So we've got the total amount of HCl that we had at the start. Now what's happened next is you've then reacted a lot of it with your uh, sodium carbonate, so we'll call that the X moles of HCl, and then whatever's left over here is what you've reacted with your sodium hydroxide. We know the total amount of HCl because we're told at the start it's volume and concentration and therefore we can work out moles. And we also know what's left over because we've reacted that with the sodium hydroxide and we've got the amount or the moles that's left over. And therefore if we use simple algebra we therefore know the amount that's reacted with the sodium carbonate, the hydrated sodium carbonate, by simply rearranging this equation. So what I've done here is to do it in blocks. You can see this is a total amount, which is a large amount of HCl, and that's then broken down into two parts, the bit that's reacted with your sodium carbonate 
and the bit that's left over here that's reacted with your sodium hydroxide. So all, we, all that's left to do now is to work out the total amount of HCl, the amount of HCl that was left over, and therefore working out how much was reacted with our sodium carbonate.